Hello and good day dear students, I am Amir Afiz Malik and my topic for today is traits of good writing means the qualities of a good writing. So when the readers read the text, how can they know that the writing is good, the writing is impressive or not? There are certain qualities of good writing and today we will be talking about the qualities of good writing. First of all, let's look at the lecture outline. Topic is qualities or the traits of good writing. Number one, I will be talking about what is writing number two concept of good writing number three traits or qualities of good writing and number four i would be talking about the exam question and the activities related to the topic so as usual i request you to take hold of a notebook and a pen so that you can note down all the key points of this lecture let's first of all look at writing our question is what is writing according to noonan 2003 writing is a process and a product yes a writer has to pass through the writing process there is a complete process behind writing which starts from thinking then putting ideas on the paper which is drafting and then going through the editing and proofreading and then completing that task which comes in the form of a product so it is easy to understand that writing is a process as well as a product i have shared some other ideas about writing as well writing is dress of thought very good point or putting ideas on paper so the writers might have different ideas in their minds but unless they dress it with words they cannot give you any writing or any text so simply writing is putting ideas on the paper the ideas which are there in the mind they are put on the papers and in through that we get the writing or the text next writing is a craft like we have already pointed out in number one that a writer has to learn the art of writing therefore writing is a craft next is writing is a means of conveying ideas thoughts opinions facts and so on so writing gives a writer a chance to express his ideas or the thoughts or the opinions or the facts or the figures or the comparisons or the contrast so there are so many options available to the writer if he uses the medium or the means of writing next is writing serves the reader yes it writing is for the readers so it serves the readers with the ideas with the thoughts with the opinions with the facts with the information with the knowledge so writing is used for the service of the reader next let's go with the concept of good writing so every writing cannot be good writings and some experts say there are two types of writing number one is a good writing and number two is a bad writing and today we are dealing with the concept of good writing writing has dual purpose number one to express and number two to impress noonan 2003 again we take some support from noonan's ideas and we go with that a writing has two purposes number one to express yes it gives the writer a chance to express ideas facts opinions thoughts comments comparisons through that and number two to impress the audience create the readership of his or her writing so very truly said that writing has double purpose or dual purpose or two purposes now good writing is easy to read and understand very simple point but very good point that a good writing is easy to read there is no difficulty for the reader to read that text so therefore it is good and number two understand this is very good point that the reader understands that text or the writing therefore it becomes the good writing good writing communicates yes it conveys a message it says something to its reader it conveys the message of the writer it conveys the idea of the writer it conveys the facts needed it conveys some information it conveys some knowledge to the reader so it communicates it expresses the ideas finally good reading uses the right words to say the right thing so this is a wonderful tip for the people for the youth for the new writers to follow that choose the right words to express right things means right ideas so good writing is a combination of good ideas and good words means right ideas 
for the right word so if the choice is achieved that means the writing the product is going to be good writing finally our topic number three is traits or qualities of good writing so there are a number of traits or qualities of a good writing let's study them one by one number one good writing is well planned we all know that planning is the road map every writer starts from thinking and thinking is planning every writer has to plan and a good plan is naturally ends with a good product so well planned means a writing becomes good if it is well planned if it is not well planned it cannot be a good writing because there are going to be some issues with that text number two ideas based yes matter does matter ideas are the content ideas are the material of the text so if the writer has ideas it means that he or she can impress the readers and his product his writing would be termed as good writing so matter does matter there is a great importance of ideas in a text ideas in a writing number three the reader based aimed for readers you know every writer writes for the readers not for himself a book is published and publicized because the writer wants to aims to has the purpose has the objective to reach the readers and good writers always have millions and billions of readers behind them so therefore every good writing should be reader based it should not be writer based number four well structured proper beginning middle and an end yeah every text has a specific structure we have studied it many times poetry writing novel writing drama writing short story writing dialogue writing so every document every writing every text needs to follow a structure if the structure is well there is a proper beginning introduction is introduction body is well explained body has the detail body has the sporting sentences if the material is sportive then yes the text is going to be a good text and end yes there is a conclusion there is a result for the readers so if the structure is well the writing is good next well drafted follows the writing system draft and redraft we all know that in writing process there is writing draft which is called the first draft the writer first time writes and then rewrites it redraft it so if the if the writing is well drafted it means it is a good writing number 6 well focused order of ideas does not waver go from one place to the other or cannot control the ideas if there is an order of the ideas if there is a focus where does it start and then move on and then ends that is very important and you know well focused also means connects ideas logically and chronologically logically with reason in a in a proper order and chronologically means in a historical order that is very important number 7 well researched collects data yes a writer should collect data see what has already been written or what is there in the contemporary literature written about that topic so if they it is well researched collection of data is there research is there if the data is new that means that it is going to be a good writing number 8 well explained that means the sporting sentences so every paragraph every line every sentence should be sporting the main idea if the ideas are well explained to the readers then it means writing is good writing number 9 diction which is word selection and language fluency a good text should have these two qualities wonderful word selection proper perfect word selection vocabulary and number 2 language fluency there should be flow in the writing so therefore good writing is the product of good word selection and good language fluency number 10 original not copied no plagiarism yes this is very important good writing is never copied never cheating never borrowing from others or if there is some borrowing as a reference then it should be mentioned number 11 and the final point is well edited and proofread which means a good writing is error free there are no spelling errors there are no grammatical errors in the text and number 3 there are not punctuation errors in the text so i hope my 11 points about good writing qualities or the traits of good writing 
have explained the topic very very well to you now if you go one by one with all these 11 traits or qualities you can easily see how to create how to write a good writing or a good text or how to produce good writing finally let's deal with exam questions and activities question number one is write down the qualities of good writing and question number two is list down or elaborate the qualities of good writing can you tell us the qualities of good writing what are the qualities of good writing these are the most important questions as far as activities are concerned i have designed one activity for you take a text short story or a novel chapter and point out its qualities for example model text i have recommended the short story number six from first year english punjab textbook board book one the reward that you can take that short story as a writing and you can point out what are the qualities what are the features what are the traits of that text i hope you would have enjoyed this lecture to the maximum thank you so very much so aaj humne baat ki traits ya qualities of good writing yani achhi tehreer ki khubiyan kya hoti hain to achhi tehreer ki khubiyon mein sabse pehle humne dekha ki tehreer kya hoti hai tehreer ek process yani amal ka naam bhi hai aur product ka naam bhi hai tehreer khayalat ke libas ka naam hai tehreer khayalat ko kaghaz par likhne ka naam hai tehreer ek maharat hai tehreer jo hai wo ek zariya hai apne ideas ko apne khayalat ko nazriyat ko afkar ko aara ko haqaiq ko दूसरों तक पहुंचाने का और फिर हमने देखा कि तहरीर एक कारी के लिए पढ़ने वाले के लिए मुताल करने वाले की खिदमत का काम सर अंजाम देती है उसे वो तमाम इल्म पहुंचाती है जिसकी उससे ज़रूरत होती है अच्छी तहरीर में हमने देखा नून कहते हैं कि अच्छी तहरीर का दोहरा मकसद होता है पहला मकसद इजहार होता है और दूसरा मुतासर करना अच्छी तहरीर की खूबियों में यह भी होता है कि वह बड़ी आसानी से पढ़ी जाती है और समझी जाती है अच्छी तहरीर अपना पैगाम दूसरों तक पहुँचाती है अच्छी तहरीर में सही अल्फाज और सही नजरियात बयान किए जाते हैं और ये कम्बिनेशन तहरीर को अच्छा बनाता है जहाँ तक तहरीर की खूबियों का ताल्लुक है तो बहुत सारी खूबियाँ हैं इससे अच्छा मुनजम होना चाहिए अच्छी तहरीर में ख्याल होते हैं क्योंकि ख्याल से ही तहरीर बनती है बगैर ख्याल के तो अल्फाज बेकार होते हैं अच्छी तहरीर का मरकज उसके पढ़ने वाले होते हैं उसके कारी होते हैं उसका मुताल करने वाले होते हैं अच्छी तहरीर की अपनी साख्त होती है अच्छी तहरीर अच्छे अंदाज में लिखी जाती है किस तरह मुसनफ एक दफ़ा लिखते हैं फिर उसकी गलतियाँ दूर करके तहरीर को दोबारा लिखते हैं अच्छी तहरीर अपने आइडियाज़ की तरतीब पर अपनी तोज्जो कायम रखती है आइडियाज़ को लॉजिकली बयान किया जाता है तरतीब से बयान किया जाता है और तारीखी हवालों से बयान किया जाता है अच्छी तहरीर में तहकीक शामिल होती है अच्छी तरह से तहकीक करके मवाद इकट्ठा किया जाता है और लिखा जाता है फिर अच्छी तहरीर में वजाहत बहुत ज़बरदस्त होती है बड़े बेहतरीन स्पोर्टिंग सेंटेंस लिखे जाते हैं जहाँ तक ज़ुबान यानी डिक्शन का ताल्लुक है तो अल्फाज का चुनाव इंतखा बहुत ज़बरदस्त होता है और उसलूब यानी ज़ुबान में फ्लुएंसी पाई जाती है फ्लो पाया जाता रवानी पाई जाती है जुमलों में जो कि कारीन को पढ़ने वालों को बहुत ज्यादा मुतासर करती है फिर सबसे अहम बात आज के दौर में कि अच्छी तहरीर कभी चोरी नहीं होती कभी कॉपी नहीं होती असल होती है और फिर आखिरी बात हमने की थी कि गलतियों से पाक होती है यानी अच्छी तरह से इसकी एडिटिंग की जाती है और इसकी प्रूफ रीडिंग की जाती है इसमें होने वाली स्पेलिंग्स की ग्रामर की और पंक्चुएशन की गलतियों को बिल्कुल दूर कर दिया जाता है और यूँ इससे गलतियों से पाक किया जाता है आखिर में हमने इम्तहानी सवाल और एक्टिविटीज़ की भी बात की थी मुझे उम्मीद है आज का लेक्चर आपके लिए बेहद मुफीद साबित होगा थैंक यू सो वेरी मच